Uh, okay, hi everyone. Um, yeah, so using a uh, tree-seater to manipulate syntax tree in Go. Um, yeah, like before, actually, before this um, talk, uh, I had a couple charts and people said, okay, it sounds like really scientific or something like that. But like uh, for me, it was a way to simplify uh, working with a syntax tree. And yeah, so I decided like to share this experience. Yeah, with you. Um, yeah, okay, so um, uh, yeah, I'm software engineer, have a Java background, migrated to Go, working for Neo4j, um, and yeah, I'm working in orchestration team, and orchestration team um, simplifies uh, deployment and management of Neo4j database in Kubernetes environment. Um, yeah, so why I decided like to do uh, this talk and what was my like initial like uh, goal? Uh, actually, I'm I'm using Vim, uh, Neo Vim to be precise, and um, uh, for some like for, for some workflow and for different workflow I use like JetBrains tools, and I was missing in uh, my Neo Vim environment I was missing uh, this like um, file uh, structure like um, yeah command F12, and I was curious okay uh, how it can be done or, or how like this engineer how they work with uh, this function how they produce it. And um, uh, when I started um, programming uh, in Go, um, Vim was as a recommended like editor, and it was kind of uh, Go was my gateway drug uh, like to Vim. Uh, yeah, and um, there was like plugin Vim Go, and it has um, move between function, and it used. Um, uh, like package from Go itself, abstract syntax tree IST package, but like I decided like to port it uh, to my environment, do separate plugin. It works not really well, and I wasn't satisfied with it. And then then I got familiar uh, with tree seater, and it was like perfect tool to like to actually manipulate syntax tree to get like these names of the function, like position, all this like information about nodes. Yeah, and. By the way, like how many people familiar with Tresitor? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so like quite new topic. It's good. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, Tresitor uh, helps you to uh, build concrete uh, syntax tree against like your source file. So you have like your file. It build, it builds uh, such things that like you can you have a nodes nodes inside nodes and you have like internal information like parameters, like signature, name, etc. And it's like exactly what I need. And so how, 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 how you work with it. So you basically have um, uh, matches. So you have, you write some grammar and for this grammar you have matches. And um, to like retrieve and retrieve something from this matches, you can use a capture and you can capture like specific, specific information function name in my case and um, yeah and uh, like um, yeah about Tresitter and Playground um, when you get familiar with some new tool you usually like go to the documentation do some kind of um, analysis but when you like go to Playground different part of your brain works you start uh, synthesize uh, examples and you learn like really different way and um, yeah, uh, just some example of how it works in terms of Tresitter. So it is like a, a playground. You can put cursor um, function and it highlight your particular node. And um, yeah, and you can like uh, build and execute query like against it. So you can like, let's say, do something like that. And uh, like this. Yeah, I actually like just working with what I see uh, from the um, from the tree itself. Then, fire. Yeah, so actually it's much for function, and I need uh, uh, to capture my uh, func function name. And so as you see. Um, all function name 
like we highlighted. And, but like I have some dummy structure inside it uh, and it have actually not function and method. And um, I need query for this uh, as well. Okay. So I think it's, it would be pretty similar to then, but uh, here this here method declaration. I call it method name. Method name, and here we have a field. Yeah, and yeah, as you see, uh, method highlighted in a different way. But like, I, I want like to treat it like the same, uh, like in my workflow. So like for me, it's just just another like fun name. Yeah, and I have like highlighted the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, yeah, it's about like playground. So when you like, you have like safe space for your experiments, and you can like start with something small, and you have everything like uh, like before your eyes and you can like easily make something. Yeah, so, but like the target is um, to uh, take source file and extract function name and um, yeah, and position like uh, line and column. As you see, like the code itself is probably not, not seen very well, but the code itself really that simple. And like the most sophisticated part is just uh, this query itself. Yeah, so um, it's kind of like a uh, casual diagram. So like we, you like, oh uh, yeah, all together, yeah. So I was needed some kind of like pop-up. This pop-up should be populated uh, with uh, these like function names. And um, yeah, during the population, yeah, I should parse. It's like, and like when I push enter, uh, my cursor should be on the function name. Um, yeah, and uh, actually demo. Yeah, so it's my um, it's my like source code, and I go to the like something like that. But like it's like really small uh, file, like yeah, five like uh, four function, and probably we we can take uh, something bigger. Uh, okay, one second. Uh, Yeah, it's from uh, Kubernetes, and it's like 2,000 lines, yeah. Yeah, and it's actually quite, yeah, quite fast. Um, yeah, so... And uh, yeah, probably it's about like about source. Um, yeah, so like how, how does it work? So um, I have like this telescope, uh, plugin and telescope has a picker. This pop up. This picker populated with uh, with Finder and Finder invoke uh, my function. And I have like um, uh, yeah, I have uh, okay. It's uh, yeah, it's probably it's, uh, different file. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. So we, and, and and it have like input cursor to particular place. Yeah. And um, yeah. So it's. Uh, Actually, like it about uh, two seater about like manipulation and uh, I don't know. Probably you have some question. <laughs> yeah, and like some some bonus. Actually, I named this um, presentation like manipulate uh, abstract syntax tree. And during uh, my preparation, I figured out that it, it, it is concrete syntax tree. Yeah, if, yeah. <laughs> if you're interested in it. Yeah, so if you want to be in touch, yeah, my contacts. And yeah, and I'm from Neo4j and we are hiring. Yeah, okay. Scan stop presenting. <laughs>